Hey, it's Fisan Mala here. In this video, I'll be deriving the voltage divider equation for you guys. You'll encounter this equation in your first year and second year electrical engineering courses. The voltage divider can be written as... Sorry. Can be written as... Sorry, I do repeat myself sometimes because... I don't know, for some reason my memory is just so weak. Anyway, the voltage divider is, equation is written as... R2 over R1 plus R2. Right, so remember this equation, very important equation, um, okay. Now, let us analyze this equation a bit, okay. If we were to bring this input voltage here, we can we can see that we can read, write the output voltage in terms of the input voltage, right? Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's do a deeper analysis, okay. So, we, we know the VO can be written as, sorry about that, V in, okay, so V out equals to R2 over R1 plus R2 times V in, V input, okay, sorry, so if R2, if R2 is much much greater than R1 what we'll see is that what we'll see is that VO is going to be roughly equal to VIN that means all not all sorry most of the input voltage will appear across this resistor okay so in the output voltage you'll see most of the input voltage and that is very important for signals right because in signals, we want that signal, that's, you know, an input signal uh, that's coming from, let's say, from an actuator, we want that signal to appear on a load. So, normally we want this resistor to be very, very small and this one to be really large. But sometimes we cannot control this resistance, right? But we can control, control this resistance, right? So, you want a resistance that's very big at the output. Okay, right? So, we, we, we see that. Now, if you're to see, if you want a more you know, a numerical, you know, numerical, if you want to see it using you know numbers, all right, numerically, that's numerically, that's it. Um, plug zero into R one. That means no resistance here. What do you get? R two R two, which is one, right? So it's like unity gain. So V out equals V I N, right? So so very small, very small resistance, uh, and very very great resistance. Okay. Okay. Now, what else? Um, sorry. Mm, now let's analyze this circuit. Okay, so we know we know that the, we know that it is a series circuit. First of all, so there's there will be there will be a current there will be a current a current that will be flowing across this resistor will be uh, current that will be flowing across this will be identical to the current flowing across both of these resistors, right? Okay, great. Okay, so let's use KVL to analyze the circuit. Right, the sum of all the voltages equal to zero. Right, so the voltage from here to here it's minus V N. The voltage from here to here, it's uh, my mistake, my mistake. Let's forget to write the current I. Right. Okay. So the voltage from here to here is I times R one. The voltage from here to here it's I R two equals zero perfect okay so this equation one all right so this, the second equation is basically this i times r2 right obviously because output voltage is equal to the current times the second resistance so let's use some algebraic manipulation here so vn can be written as I times R1 plus R, sorry, I times R1 plus R2. So I brought, I brought the input voltage here and I factored out the I from, from equation 1. So that's equation 1. And output voltage is equal to, let's say this one, is equal to I times R2. Now if I have to divide V out by Vn, right, that's the voltage divided equation. We get...
R2 or R1 plus R what we seen at the beginning right so we saw at the beginning R2 output voltage or input voltage is equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 and voila same thing so we simply derived it you know using KVL KVL